Okay, so in this video, we are going to make another app in MATLAB App Designer. Here we are going to plot sine wave and we are going to change some of its attributes using sliders. <coughs> so first we'll take axis. In this we are going to have a sine plot. Then we are going to take a button. So when we press this button, we want a sine wave in this graph. So let's write a program. Call back. So in first step we want when we push that button, a graph should appear. So let's say S is our sign plot, right? A is the amplitude of that graph. Sign of, let's say we'll take frequency multiply by time, right? And then we want to plot this graph. And where do we want to plot this graph? We want to plot this graph in app.ui axis, right? So first we'll write app dot ui axis comma now on x axis we want to plot time and on y axis we want to plot this sine wave so we'll write this s now here we have written the command to plot the graph <coughs> but to execute this we supposed to add three variables a f and t so let's say A is amplitude, we'll take amplitude as 3, F is frequency, let's say we'll take frequency is equal to 5 and T is time. So let's say T is equal to 0 to 10 in step size of 0 0.01. So now let's run this thing and check whether we are getting sine wave or not. So first of all, we'll save this thing. So just press the button. Oh, there is an error. This is supposed to be capital, right? Now let's run. Button. And there we go. Here we have a graph, right? So our step number one is achieved. Now in step number 2, what do we want to do? In step number 2, we want to add 2 sliders. One for x-axis and one for y-axis. So close this thing. Let's jump here. <coughs> this is our graph. <coughs> Let's take slider. 1, slider 2, just resize it, right, it is just for appearance purpose, our slider 1 will name it as x, our slider 2 will name it as y, right, so this corresponds to x axis and this corresponds to y axis. Now here we will rename few things, so first we will select this graph. We'll go to this title and we'll name it as sign plot. X axis is time, so we'll write time here, and y axis is amplitude. Now we'll go to this slider on x axis. For time, maximum we want from 0 to 10, right? So 0 to 10 seconds. So here we'll write 0 and 10. The initial value we can define from here. Let's say initial value will keep it as 2 for x axis. We can rename here as time. Now we'll go to y axis. We'll rename it as amplitude. We want maximum value of y to be 30. Now we want this to be placed over here, right? So we'll change its orientation to vertical, right? We'll just adjust it a little bit. And initial value will keep it as 5. Now we'll go to this button. We'll rename this button as plot. So this is the appearance of our app. Now we'll go to code view. Now here we need to make few modifications. In this, this A will be controlled by amplitude slider and this t should be controlled by this 
time slider. So what do we do now? Instead of a is equal to 3, we are going to import the value of a from time slider. This one, right? So what do we do here? We we'll write app dot time slider dot value. This means whatever value of time slider we have, that will be equal to this a. So we are assigning this time slider value to a. And now we'll go for amplitude slider. So for that, we'll use, oh my god. Here we have used a for amplitude and t for time, right? So here instead of this a, we'll write it x and we'll assign a for amplitude. So now we'll assign value of amplitude slider to this a. So app dot, so amplitude sliders value we are assigning to a. Now here time sliders value we have assigned to x. So what do we do? We'll replace this 10 with x, right? So our time will be from 0 to x and this x will be decided by this time slider and frequency we are defining as 5 hertz, right? So now let's run and check whether this app works as we want or not. So this is our application. Now let's plot. So the amplitude is 5 and for 2 seconds it shows the graph. Now let's say instead of 2 we want to see graph for 4 second, right? Let's plot again. So it shows for 4 second. Let's say amplitude we want to change up to 15. Let's plot. And the amplitude is 15. So that's how you can create this type of interesting app in MATLAB app designer. In next video we are going to use some of the other component from this component library and going to create some interactive apps. So see you into the next video of this MATLAB app designer tutorial series. For next video, click here. Bye bye.